What's up, fam? It's your boy, Stanley. Look, y'all, we decided, oh, yeah, your girl Lynette is over there at the computer. It We're at the two-week mark for check-in, so she over there printing out boarding passes, for luggage everybody. tags, and all that good stuff. So she over there. But we decided to do this video a little different. This is our first ever pack with us video where we're going behind the scenes and being with you guys as we pack for the cruise so we are at that point so we are actually now starting to order stuff so lynette had these bundles of stuff that came in here from Shein. i, 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 don't I like think i think it was timu <laughs> i think some stuff came in here from wish i don't know it just was wish. a big load of stuff that came up in here so yeah so yeah, come along the journey with us. We're gonna show you how Stanley and Lynette pack. So now this is where I start the foolishness of what I have going on. And it's a lot, but it's not a lot. And the way that I do mine is I break things out based off of what days I need them. So for instance, this is formal wear and the undergarments that need to go with that. This is the second formal night, which is just gonna be a black jumpsuit. This is my robe that I take on every trip. Convenient when, you know, room service is knocking at the door, you can just throw that on. It's also a good way to have um, something to put over your clothes if you're doing like your makeup or whatever. Then here is all of my swimwear. Most of the stuff in here is going, the bulk of it is gonna be swimwear. Um, another romper for maybe like, it can transition from dinner to whatever. Then we also have something else like our, a onesie, a romper or something like that. Then I have my one of my purses, have my shoes. I have them on top of that because I don't want them on the bed. And this is something unique that we do is whenever we are staying like in a pre-cruise hotel, I take the things that I'm going to need for that pre-cruise hotel and put it in its own separate packing cube so that I don't have to go into everything else in the suitcase. So I can literally pull this out. So there's an extra pair of night pajamas in there. There's the clothes I'm gonna be wearing on the ship. There's a there's swimwear in here in case I wanna go swimming while I'm at the hotel, all of that. All right, so we have my outfits. So these are like casuals. Get up in the morning, throw them on, go to breakfast. One, two, three, four, five. These are two sets of leggings, one, pair is for the gym this is another set these are my shoes they're on the bed because they're brand new here's the other stuff the only things that i will not be packing right now is going to be the toiletries so right now i'm just going to put my stuff on my side and see what i'm working with all right so now i'm at the point where i'm going to do the military role but i do my military role by outfits so for instance i know that i have a possibility <clears throat> of wearing this and this together and then also the possibility of an extra bottom if I need it. And what I do is I just take it and roll them all together. So they're just like this. And I put them in a suitcase like this and I also put them in the drawer like this. So whenever I go to pull out an outfit, they're already together. And that's how we're going to stack that. You got the point. What I also do to conserve space is I use my shoes as storage because it's already gonna be there anyway. So oh yeah, that's I'm the going... next matching shoes from the. He loves to talk, y'all. Yeah. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> I am going to take all of the socks that I'm going to be wearing and put them in the in the shoes so that that space just goes ahead and fills up because it's gonna be taking up dead space anyway. So I'm gonna put the socks in that. Sometimes if I don't have a place for the jewelry. I will either put them in my shoes in a Ziploc bag or in a purse if I'm bringing it. This time I am bringing actually two extra purses. So I do have the earrings and things like that, um, necklaces and stuff in there already. Um, I'm gonna pack the intimate stuff separately. Y'all don't need to see that. And that's basically <laughs> it. Like that's literally it. So now it's my time. And the one thing I say I love about a level eight luggage is they have zippers on both sides the zipper head on both sides listen i don't know why it's not against the law that nobody else does this but to each his own but any hoodle so here we go so i always try to start with my elegant wear because it's going to be the most bulky 
and I tried to like stack them right behind each other like a, like with a run of the train. Um, <laughs> and we just, and there's no, I mean, I don't have it like super neat. So don't think that, you know, I'm very militant about it. I'm literally just trying to get this stuff in here. And it's like a puzzle. As we start to go, some things may get moved around, swished around, but for the most part, just get it in there. And then as I'm going, I'm mindful that I <clears> still have a toiletries bag that has to go in here, a makeup bag. So I'm always trying to like look at the spaces and make sure that I keep space for things like that. This time I'm actually bringing these high top um, sneaks and we usually don't bring sneakers that's that look I can't talk that that is that big so this is going to be different because that is going to take up more room than we are used to it taking up for the most part the only thing that I have <clears throat> left is my swimwear I don't usually roll that I usually after I'm done with everything lay my swimwear out on the top and do it like that because that helps <laughs> um and so like these sneakers right here I can take and just wedge them in the creases of where they would just they get in where they fit in. Yeah. And since they're new, you gotta worry about like the bottoms messing up nothing because they haven't been worn. So see I have my space right there for my toiletries bag. And the only other thing I have is my purse. And if push come to shove, that can go in my carry-on. Um backpack that I'm gonna take on the plane. Oh, and I probably y'all mind um I thought about this is like what about you know rolling the clothes up like that make them real wrinkle especially the elegant night clothes so basically what we do with that is we most of the time send that down to be pressed yep on day one as soon as we get there get that little slip uh, for those of you all that are new um carnival will provide you a slip that you can it have your stuff on. yeah all of them provide it it's a slip in the room that you can fill out to have your uh, room attendant to take your clothes down to get it um, dry clean for you. So we always do that. Or just steam. Yeah, they steam and get all the wrinkles out, have it ready for us. So it'll be nice and pressed for elegant night. And then also uh, we bring our uh, downy wrinkle release. And that usually does it. And that usually takes all the wrinkles out of our t-shirts and shorts and stuff like that. So we don't we don't overthink it, but uh, I'll show you the downy wrinkle release right right quick. There you go, downy wrinkle release. All right, fam, I'm gonna work walk y'all through the first portion of how I pack my stuff. So right now I just only have a little bit of the stuff out. So we're actually going on uh, seven days for the celebration. So as we said in the video, huh? Six. Six. Okay. <laughs> My wife corrected me. We are going on a six day on the celebration. So I actually did seven because we're going to be staying at the hotel. I got my seven pairs of basketball shorts. I always bring those. Six t-shirts here. Uh, seven t-shirts. Seven tank tops right here. And I got two polo shirts. And I got my seven pair of socks right there. So all I need now is my seven pair of underwear. I need my two elegant night outfits. I'll show y'all those in a few. And my two pair of swim shorts and my swim shoes. And that's gonna just about complete as far as everything I'm gonna be putting on. All right, so fam, I don't do the roll method no more where you roll the shirts up. I actually do mines like this now. Fold that shirt in half like that. Fold them over like so, just like that. Then come over here and put them in there just like that. All right, so I got the shirts in there. All right, y'all, so usually I bring me a just in case two polo shirts. This is like just in case something happens off the cuff that I need to dress a little bit more casual, a little bit more a few times. But uh, the same way, I fold these the same way. All right. Make sure that part is right there or right there. You, you hit them. Oops, slipped up my hand that time. Bam! Watch them. Bam! Don't gotta be that perfect. Bam! So the next thing I do is my tank tops. Fold 
team strategy. All right, so this is my secret weapon. We talk about packing lists on the channel a lot, which we have a packing list on our website. But this is the packing list that I keep on my phone. And this is what I go through so I won't forget anything. So I won't underpack or uh, overpack. So you can see like, I have like the seven regular shirts, the two polo shirts I was talking about. Now I'm at the seven basketball shorts. So now let me go ahead and check off the regular shirts and go ahead and check off the, the polo shirts because I don't put those in there. And then also I got the seven tank tops in there. So, all right, so now we're gonna move on to my short. Nothing fancy here, it's easy enough. All right, so normally I will take two regular shorts, but most of the time I don't end up doing them anyway, so I'm just only taking one pair. And that's to go with the polo shirt all right, the next thing is my swim wear, which I normally take two pairs of shorts. I used to only do like one, but what happened is that the other pair will be wet. And if you if you know anything, I know trying to get a <laughs> pair of wet swim shorts back on, if you want to go swimming again, it's crazy. So I started bringing two, so I ain't got to deal with that. Night will be my socks, but I still have my uh, former night nice stuff that needs to go in here which some of that stuff is still coming in the mail so we'll come back so we're gonna end right here at the socks and we'll pick back up on the rest of it when the rest of the stuff come in the mail Mike. all right fam it's the next day so my dress shirt done finally came in they're gonna queen right there where you going where you so i'm gonna show y'all the rest of the packing for the suitcase and then after that i'm gonna show y'all how I do the toiletries and I think in the toiletry bag and my carry-on. And after that, we be done. All right, let's go. And so the queen um, ordered me this shirt right here. So we're gonna be putting that in the suitcase and this is our embarkation day shirt. So we got everybody to get one of these so we can recognize who everybody is. I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, and then we've got these a few weeks ago. We got some some matching Nikes and the black shorts. So that's going to be my embarkation day outfit right here. So I'm going to be putting that on on embarkation day. And I got my dress shoes here. It's going to be going in the bag. And I got my water shoes. And I forgot to mention yesterday that we do like to participate in um, white night. So I got me a white night shorts outfit here that I'm gonna be wearing, so I'm gonna be putting that in the suitcase as well. There's two elegant nights on the ship, so what I normally do is just bring just one pair of black pants. Well, on this sailing it oh, is. Yeah, so on this sailing because it's six days. So I normally just bring one pair of slacks and it just intertwined with two shirts. All right, so like you say, I don't, I don't overthink it. Just fold them like so. And just lay them right on tight. So for y'all, just like, y'all can actually pack in one piece of luggage, the both of you? Mm-hmm. We sure can. Yep. But this come with experience. We done, we done took quite a few cruises now since uh, we've been back cruising. So this this is uh, like two or, two or three years of uh, mm -hmm. learning. Now, I'm not saying it's not <clears throat> tight. Right. It be tight. All right. Get the white night outfit now do we do it because we're trying to like conserve on cost no we do it because one when we do group trips we already have to come with a whole bunch of luggage that's not even ours because we're giving things away and stuff like that so we always have to travel with a few suitcases so for us yeah. to be able to condense our own personal stuff is a bonus because it actually helps us transport better all right, then that belt, fellas. This this is the number <laughs> one thing that we forget. And I always make sure I had it on my packing list. All right, then I have my shoes left. So most likely I'm gonna have to put um, at least one pair of these and most likely probably these Nikes inside of my carry-on bag because I got another carry-on bag that I'm gonna show you guys. So that's supposed to be here Friday. So uh, stay tuned for that. So. 
just like the queen, you just take these and just lay them on there like so. And let's see, put those right in that edge right there. Yep, you were shirting it right, right in there. Yep, and then our toiletries bag, we will work that out on Friday night, Saturday morning. And then we gotta make sure that it's under that 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. So that's why we always have the the infamous luggage scale. So now I'm gonna weigh this to see where we at. All right, so all you have to do is put it up and then lift up off the ground. Yeah, we at 58 pounds. So we're gonna be paying an overweight luggage fee or we're gonna split this. All right, fam, so before I get to packing the, the new bag that I bought, I wanted to just give you guys another glimpse of these are all of my toiletries that are going to go in this bag right here. So one last gap. So this is all that I normally take right here. And this is what I'm taking on this carnival celebration. All right, so next, now it's time for the stuff that's going to go in my carry-on. So I just wanted to give y'all another glance of what we put in here. I got my tumbler, my straw, my lanyard, my passport, my wireless headphones for the plane. I got my poncho. We got ponchos there, my backpack. Got my waterproof phone case. So I wanted to give you a glance at that. All right, so here is the bag. This bag is pretty cool. Um, Actually, I started messing around with it already, but to show you real quick, like you can turn it into an actual backpack, as you can see, or you can unclip it from these, like so. And you can take the things and stuff them back inside of here like this, I'm zipping this up, and now, close this up real quick. Now you just have a oh, bag okay. like that. Let's give it a walk around. You got a place for storage right here. You got a place for storage right there. Had that already open. Also, got a place for storage right here. This is where I'm gonna be putting my laptop and stuff in here. Uh, all right, so at the top here, they give you a spot so you can put some shoes in there. Go ahead and get into the inside. So, all right, so we get in the inside. Uh, this is the part that's right here for the shoes. Um, yeah. So inside of here, you got some more stories at the top there. Which you can put stuff like your passport and car keys. Uh, birth certificates, whatever, anything you can use a sleeve for, you can put it in there. All right, and this is the part where you actually can put clothes and all that stuff. But of course, I'm not gonna put no clothes in here. I'm gonna put what I showed you guys in there. Then on the side, you got little pockets right here that you uh, you might get fit a tumbler in there. All depends on how big it is. And of course, this is back here with the straps, but you can probably throw some stuff in here too but let me take these straps back out because this is the way i'm gonna be wearing it man but i didn't show you guys it have a place to put your portable charger in there you can plug it up so on the outside of the bag i can go ahead and hook up my phone right there and charge it with the usb or the usb c all right so let's go ahead and start loading on up man all right. all right. And because we're Global Entry TSA PreCheck, we don't have to empty any of our stuff out. Right. So it makes bringing your <laughs> your toiletry bag way more easier. I didn't show you show you guys this one in the last one. This is the the uh, nine surgery tech we normally take because you get four plugs: one here, one there, one there, one there, two USBs, and one USB C. That's enough for us to charge up our two phones, our two cameras. Well, wow, three cameras uh, when we uh, when we out Apple traveling. Watch. Yep. I think we I think we are on to something. All right, now it's my turn, and basically this is my makeup bag, and it's really not a lot of stuff. It's a whole bunch of like skincare, um, travel size, uh, moisturizers. 
um, got my Mac. I'm a, I like Mac skin finishes. I like setting sprays. This is my fan for when I put my eyelashes on. I have some eyelashes. I have some glue, setting powder, some NARS. It's basic. Also with that, I have where I keep my makeup brushes. So I have washed those and stored those into this little thing right here. And I love putting them in here because it keeps them separate so that everything doesn't get all dusty and, and dirty with the product all over it and whatnot. So let me go ahead and show you what's in my toiletry bag. All right, so this is all the things that I need to put into my toiletries bag. In the previous video, you saw that we hit on a whole lot of things that we usually bring. And like we told you, some things make it some trips, some things don't. So these are the things that's gonna make it on this trip. So watch me pack it up. All right, the first thing I do is I put my bonnet in here. For some reason, that's, that's the safe space for that. And hmm. that's literally the only place that it goes. If I'm gonna bring some hair ties or something, I will stick those right in there. But I bring two bars of soap, one in the carrier, one new, if I'm just that person. So there is no right or wrong way to do it, edge control. So my husband be trying to make y'all think that I be taking a lot. The only thing that I didn't show y'all <laughs> in the thing- Y'all already saw she take a lot. So the only thing that y'all didn't see, these are hair, like hair glazes and glosses and Instead of taking this big hair mister, when you have locks like I do, you have to have, you know, have to um, make sure your hair is moisturized and hydrated with water. I usually take this. It takes more effort, but this is way more convenient than taking this. So I put that in there, empty, and then I fill it up with bottled water once I get to wherever I'm going. And then I just close it up. Now, is it a snug fit? Absolutely. But does it fit? Absolutely. So this is another bag that I packed and this is for the pre-cruise hotel. So this is like a um, miniature version of some of the things that I have in here. So I have a little thing that I put my some foundation in. So in case we wanna go out later that night, a makeup brush, a travel size toothbrush, toothpaste, um, a really small native deodorant, some mouthwash, um, a couple of those facial um, cloths in there. And this just gets me by while at the hotel. This is where I come into play with a lot of the things that um, you, did, you didn't see Stanley Pack, but you saw in the video. So we bring things like this and we just make it work. There's no way, I mean, there's no real way to pack it, but the things that we need to take, but really doesn't qualify as a toiletry for him or I. It's just right. things that we need. So, of course, you know, I told you I'm a microband girl. So, we got microband, Lysol, have some Tide wipes, Tide pens. We have the C-bands. We have what we, our room spray, but it's another kind of spray. And usually, we take the big thing of dish detergent. I just put it in this little convenient refillable right here. This takes us through a couple of trips, actually. So that's something that I have been doing lately is, and these are plastic bags because I'm at that point where I'm tired of getting my hair wet. I'm going to take these this time along with this Glade because plugins, baby. the Glade plug-in, I can't find the top two to screw it on to secure it. So I don't know if this is gonna leak by the time we get what we need to get. So I'm gonna take these as backups. Hopefully they work because they do not work in my house. I take, Whole Earth, if you have been to Starbucks, they usually um, provide this if you want a lower, um, like a lower sugar content type of drink. And I got hooked on the Whole Earth, so I take that with me. I also take some Country Time Lemonade because that makes a very good low calorie, low sugar margarita. margarita. I also, so I like to pack things in things so that I can condense as much space as I need to or conserve as much space as I need to. So my waterproof fanny pack, I've also put the towel clips in there so that we can make it do what it do. Also forgot to show you, hand sanitizer. All right, and I also have some liquid IVs that I'm going to take with me. And we always take like a pack of thank you cards. 
so that like if we want to give our cabin steward something a little extra or something a little special we'll write a, like a nice little note in it and put whatever we want to bless them with in here all right so this is my backpack this is the backpack that all of you all love and i do too because you can get everything up in here but usually a nail file stays in here this is my lanyard and i love this little um badge holder that's on it also i put a pair of sunglasses or two in here and that's like immediately after we get off the plane and we have to get <laughs> on the outside i have my I, um my sunshades readily available always travel with because if you're going to get a tickle in your throat you're going to get it on the plane so i take some ricolas some gum because i am that person that my ears pop my medicines in my medicine case that i need i do not pack them away i take them on me um my prescriptions and also this is my power pack it has seen better days but we travel for real um my passport goes right here in the little zipper part so this is the inside do you see how big that is and i love because it yeah. opens up like this so you can just like take a whole lot of stuff i have this travel essentials um electronics bag all of my cords um um power brakes are going to go in here and they stay there i don't have to worry about it and i always just put it right in the bottom of this i also travel with a COVID test that i always put right here it stays there I make sure that it is not expired, <laughs> but it's pretty beat up, but it is what it is. This is the first aid kit that always just kind of stays right there. These are my documents. So um, we do get third party travel insurance and I always travel with that. And also these are the boarding documents and the luggage tags. So once we get to the hotel and we have to head out the, the day of cruising, then we can pull these out, attach the luggage tags, and do all I need to do for that. This is my selfie stick, which mm -hmm. I love. This is something I have been doing ever since I've started yeah, traveling. Yeah, yeah. Is and I'm glad you do it, too. Whenever I go somewhere and I can grab a couple of spoons and straw, I mean, spoons, forks, knives, or whatever, if they have all three, even better. But at least I need a fork because... It never ceases to fail that whenever you order DoorDash or anything at the hotel, for some reason, you just do not get utensils. Um, other than that, this is the place that I also store my, my MacBook. So, yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing fancy to it. So, although our packing list seems extensive, it's, it's everything you need for it's everything for a that we cruise. need and we we get her done all right y'all remember we had the issue where the bag was 58 pounds and we need to get the eight pounds off so this is what we took of lynette's out of the big bag so we think in taking this out of here we're going to take all of this stuff and we're going to put it in this bag right here and make it simple we're not going to overthink it all right, so we are just about finished getting this thing rearranged around for the weight. So before I close this up, I wanted to show you how we did our air tag. So we just take it and clip it right to the zipper part of the bag. That's that's how we do it. So when it goes either up underneath the plane or goes up underneath the ship, we can track it. All right, let's see. So we, we had to put a few more other things in here, so... Let's see if we're still under 50 pounds or right at 50. Picking that up. Nope. 54. 56. All right, for the 40th try. So this real life. All right, let's see if we're under 50 this time. I told him if we're not, just leave the whole bag at home. We still over? All right, I think we might be at the end of the road this time. Let's see. We got it that time. 48.3, we there. All right, fam, we are all packed and ready to go. All right, fam, so we are now in Miami getting ready to go and board on the celebration. The bags made it. Yeah, the bags made it. Family. So 
We hope that you guys enjoy the packing with us video. A real version. Yes. <laughs> Mistakes and all. Yeah. So uh, we're going to get ready to head on over to the port and we're going to see you in the next video. Straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Chua. Chew that. Holla. <laughs>